you know, normally if you're still playing with dollies, people question your sanity, but I guess it's okay in Andre Toulon's case. Welcome back, folks. This is Rotten Reels Reviews, audio review number 29, and we are back with Puppet Master. That's right, you asked for it, I promised it. Puppet Master. Written by Charles Ban, who are film starts in 1939 in Bodega Bay, California, where an elder man, a puppeteer by the name of Andre Toulon, player trade by William Hickey, uh, Prizzy's Honor, One Crazy Summer, Mickey and Nicky and the Maddening, has discovered a secret, a formula to bring life where there was none. A true alchemist whose secrets were handed down to his ancestors for generations. This course goes without saying that the Nazi party is interested in this. You know, the remaining few that didn't go after the Ark of the Covenant or the Holy Grail or virtually every other religious artifact. I wonder how that Tesseract business in Scotland's going. Moving right along, a pair of goose steppers are looking to cease to on and his prize puppets when Tuan locks him away in a secret compartment and ends his life with a revolver. And then he died. Yeah. Fifty years later... Yeah, I know, that was a weird flashback, right? A Gathering of Psychics by Alex Whittaker, portrayed by Paul Lamont of American Graffiti, Melvin and Howard, Wishman, Lonesome Dove, the series, and American History X, Dana Hadley, Irene Miracle of Midnight Express, Inferno, Puppet Master, and Walking Thunder, Frank Forrester, Matt Rowe of Puppet Master, Child's Play 2, My Blue Heaven, Naked Gun, 33rd and a 3rd, The Final Insult, and Carissa Stamford, uh, Catherine O'Reilly of Married with Children, Jack's Back, Saturday the 14th Strikes Back, and Top of the Heap, all get in touch with a college colleague, Neil Gallagher, or Jimmy F. Skaggs, of Lethal Weapon, Cutthroat Island, Hollow Man, and Catch Me If You Can, who in fact is not melon crazy, but has found Toulon's hidden treasures. The four agreed to meet up with him at the late Toulon's home, already envisioning fortune and glory, but, you know, don't count your Shankrath stones yet, folks. There's always bound to be more than a few problems. No sooner do they arrive, all the psychics start receiving premonitions of death, or death still to come. And then they meet Megan, Robin Fratz of Puppet Master, The Arrival, Man's Best Friend, One Night Stand, and The Round and Round, who is apparently Neil's wife, who has news that Neil shot himself. Yeah, you begin to see how this is starting to become an issue. Alex and the gang attempt to find the secrets of Toulon's alchemy, that hails from as far back as Egyptian practitioners. While they're look, putting hot pokers up nostrils and preserving organs in jars, I guess. With each psychic having a unique gift, it is their hope that they unlock the secrets. Frank and Neil's research has almost pinpointed everything they need, but now the party seems to be taken back by all this. Meanwhile, our good-hearted cast is unaware that uh, they're being slowly haunted by tiny puppets, seemingly to be animated by Toulon's formula, as they stalk, or, you know, stalk their uh, late masters would-be grave robbers. Will any of the psychics get out alive? Can these dastardly dolls be burned and destroyed? Yeah, I, I know I do go over the top. So, a quick little uh, input on this. Uh, this entire series, which I am aware of, there is close to 13 sequels to the Puppet Master franchise. Uh, it all begins with Charles Band, who uh, initially wrote and produced these. Less than thrilled how distribution was occurring in the States and overseas, Bands formed Empire Pictures in 1984 to produce and distribute his films to make sure to uh, return with the profits. As the VH market had just begun to mass, Empire Pictures allied themselves with Wizard Video for their contacts, and they only became a power in the industry by producing two horror films for the Atari 2600 in 1982. I went up the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and Halloween. 
Yes, imagine the scandal of horror games pre-8-bit. As Italy has its influctuation and many economic issues, most of the low-budget films that Ban was making, uh, well, was hailed from the region, causing him to leave and return to the USA. And from there, forming the company Full Moon Pictures. Aside from the ambitions of behind the scenes, Ban started developing scripts of horror genre, ranging from anything from period pieces, guys in rubber suits, and the love inanimate objects doing horrible things to people. Kind of a kooky notion, I grant you. And uh, just pointing out a few other things, the practical effects was brought to you by Alan, uh, David Allen Production. This is ranging from anything from stop-motion animation, animatronics, allowing the killer puppets to maim with indiscrimination, if you will. Uh, originally slated for a theatrical release, our movie had gone straight to video due to a band feeling it would release better in the rental market, given its popularity and already its cult status and the fact that it was ground for as many sequels, I would have to concur on that. Of course, what I was amazed with, that they didn't go with the cliché of, this is the most highest concern of the Fuhrer. You know, like, uh, werewolf, women, uh, genetic splicing, uh, trying to steal Captain America's DNA to create their own super soldier, the supernatural occurrences of creating uh, a vampiric Third Reich. I mean, you could just keep going on. It, that's what's so funny about that whole concept of the Nazi exploitation. Now, amusingly enough, this does not fall that category. It is more closer to say that the third film, uh, directed by David uh, Dakota of the 1313 softcore gay porn series, would be a little more accurate on that. But, uh, yeah, what you have is a series of really impressive stop animation Creatures. Now, because David Allen unfortunately died after the fifth film was made, they went to using monofilament wire, and it does not take a high resin, you know, uh, it doesn't take a high definition for you to point out, yeah, that's wire. You can spot it on the VHS, but yeah, you're more likely to find it on the uh, DVD or the Blu ray, where you're going, man, that's when it's getting moved. So, uh, still an enjoyable series, uh, some really dark, imaginative creatures, as we're getting to that right now. So, our little malefic marionettes are known as Blade, because he has a knife and a hook. Leech Woman, yeah, you've got a sexist joke in there somewhere. The Jester, Tunneler, Pinhead. All these creatures have a very specific name to go along with a very different psychological profile. It's kind of bizarre like that. Oh my god, is that Barbara Crampton? <laughs> I didn't recognize her without her clothes off. That must have been a little of my confusion. Of course, seeing that as many horror films I've seen, I'm in the back of my head going, Why are we staying at the potentially creepy house where all death and maiming can happen? Mm, there I go, thinking again. Shame on me. With some great POV shots, a uh, lot of really handheld. It, this is a, well, again, again, you do look at this as a low budget, but it's got a lot going for it. Uh, the scale model shots, that standing. Uh, I do love the exterior shot of the hotel itself. You're going, hmm, it, yeah, it doesn't look creepy on the edge of this cliff face at all. If you, you have enough, uh, oh, what's the best way to describe it? I guess enough Lovecraft references to make with just that alone. But yeah, I would recommend this for people. You're into horror, you like the killer doll syndrome, and uh, you know, this is going to be vastly more enjoyable than having to sit through like any of their child's play movies or the latter Chucky films. And again, I would recommend this all the way up to the fifth film. But again, if you guys have any more requests, you have any ideas, maybe uh, Sean should sit through one of these turd monkeys, you know. Give me a buzz, throw me a comment up in the comments, uh, maybe hit me up on uh, Facebook on Rotten Reels Reviews, and that's all I got. You take it easy. Bye.